how many variations can you think of for the word quick? I can think of something like rapid, fast, speedy, and if you go sideways, you might be able to use quick a different way. You could say the quick brown fox means the intelligent brown fox. So we could go with this, if it matters, if this makes any kind of sense. If some people searching for something like intelligent fox um, could belong to our market, then why not add the word? And we could add the word anyway, but just, you know, add make sure to add as many things as make sense right all the different things that people could think to type do they have to be synonyms absolutely not you can go with antonyms like slow you could go with entirely other sort of things like brown eyed brown fox if you want uh, blue eyed brown fox you know anything you would like there's no reason that it has to be a synonym at all as a matter of fact Another way to do it is if you say our product is better than product X, Y, or Z. That could be product X, that could be product Y, that could be product Z, and on and on and on. That way one page says our product is better than product X. And if people are searching for product X, they could see how your they could see your web page appearing saying ours is better than product X. Same thing with product Y, same thing with product Z. This is good for getting um, getting a your hands out there into the side markets to get people away from other things. If you want to say what's best for a headache, well, it could be aspirin, ibuprofen, it could be Tylenol. What else could it be? Some kind of Chinese herbal tea or a different kind of tea or a different kind of, it could be something homeopathic. It could be anything else. Whatever it is that you have a list of that people would think to look for. You could say our product is better than all of those. You know, anything you want to do is completely legitimate here. And they don't need to match in terms of wording. You could put a whole sentence in here. Uh, I don't know how. Uh, the brown-eyed brown fox. I don't know what I would put for a sentence here, but you can. You can put two, three, four, five, six, seven words in here. You could put two, three, four, five, six, seven words in any of these. One, two, three, four, five. It doesn't matter at all. Now, a tool that we created. And let me just, I could drop these, but we have a tool up here called Format Sheet. If you drop, it'll drop your selection, whatever it was. Okay. Now, what can we do to at least get some ideas? Say I'm not thinking clearly and I don't know what I can use for this. I could hit the Saurus with that highlighted. And that gives me everything out of the Microsoft Office the source, not some cheap the source, not some weird put together by a bunch of guys guessing or testing the source. It'll put up anything for me as a starting point. It doesn't mean all these words are going to work. It just means it puts them up. Okay, and that does help. I wouldn't have thought about quick thinking maybe, or sharp witted, or quick witted, or shrewd or astute but it sure gave it to me in a hurry. So just based only on this one column, already, if all of these could apply, there's 40 web page variations almost, except it's only a one word change out of six words I need to consider, okay? So I wanna keep going. I don't want my whole web page, or my web page generation to just change one term like this. I wanna keep going. What could we have for brown? We, we could, again, you can do this with the thesaurus and you get a bunch of choices. Ones that don't work, just highlight them and drop them. Watch this, I can highlight one. If I hold down the control key, I can choose more. Not that, not that, maybe that, but not that, 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 not that. Okay, I let go and I have all these selected, so I can go format sheet, drop. Now that was easy. It's keeping everything in place and whatever you do, don't have any spaces. There should never be an empty space that breaks the whole thing. Just like there should never be an empty column, all the data needs to be together. Okay, never have an empty column, never have an empty space, and you're good to go. I cannot think of anything for Fox, okay, but for jumped over, I can think of quite a bit. It could be spring over, leaped over, leapt over. And again, I could try this. Hop, skip, sword, shot, flu, flight, blah, blah, blah. Helps me a lot, doesn't it? Matter of fact, you know what's even more interesting? You can do this as a starting point for speed. 
you can actually just highlight the row and hit the source and it gets it all done for you really really fast now let's try to do some really fast math how many web pages could we generate this is one times 40 that's 40 web pages times 18 <laughs> let me try to just make the point okay times 18 times <laughs> what do we have next uh, what 15 15 times okay uh, here we have like 21 times ooh 16 and this is just kind of trash because really I would tighten this up right I wouldn't just go with all that not all these wording combinations are gonna make the most sense but as you can see I'm already into the millions I haven't even continued and if I did I'd have times 7 okay you see how the numbers get nuts times 27 now look at that this is telling me of a potential 685 million almost 686 million mass web pages they're not all going to be unique Google's not going to take them all or anything like that but our software would figure out the ones that are okay the point is just a little bit of work goes a long long way if, if it seems like you have to do a lot of work figuring out which of these matter which of those matter which of these matter and in this case none of it matters delete okay and I don't have to delete I could just hit drop okay and maybe I need over to just remain over okay then that's fine and I can go as far as I want with a bunch of this stuff right and by the way if you're wondering why the wording seems to change it's like it gives a type of synonym then it gives another type that's because in the thesaurus there are different groups of words based on the original meaning what did you mean did you mean dog like a dog or did you mean to dog someone which would be like to follow someone trail someone track someone pursue someone and that's where you get these different variations and some of these words can be duplicated you could wind up with duplicate wording in here you do not need to worry about it it just be duplicate because the same words could could show up in different groups of meaning okay sometimes and that's perfectly fine you don't have to worry about any of that all you know is you have what you were looking for now because sometimes um, the system throws in words that have uh, symbols on them that you don't like like tildes and things like that that can interfere with emoji pro we created something called the replace editor and what that does is allow us to change characters that we don't like oddball things like these a's with a tilde e's with a tilde uh, to regular characters if we hit replace then it just gets rid of all that stuff that got in our way so we really quickly and efficiently clean the whole list another one that's good for cleaning by the way is if you accidentally got a space in here where you didn't mean to or maybe you got a space after a word where you didn't mean to that's different than a space in between two words okay that's where you had a space at the beginning or the end which shouldn't be there it's a stray space and you can't really see it very easily right so we have something in our format sheet if we if we highlight what we want and you should really kind of highlight like this or it's going to go through the entire web page but if we highlight the block we want and hit format sheet remove extra spaces then it gets rid of those extra spaces and also if we hit clean cells it gets rid of any hidden characters that you cannot physically see but they're there that are in your way and that would just be if you pulled in web page coding and it had some oddball characters in the coding well it'll clear that up for you okay so now the point is we could create tons of web pages and if we were filtering for the ones where at least two or three words change in every case then we have created web pages a lot of them just from this short bit of work that we did with a single sentence how many sentences are there in a web page that has like a thousand words well that could be 20 sentences so if you had this 20 times over you can imagine what all the possibilities would be and how many total web page possibilities there could be as the words are mixed and matched all the way through the general word of rule of thumb is the longer you go on the columns the longer you go then the more you want your average 
uh, variations to be. Uh, and that's just the reality check. In this case, if I were trying to create a thousand pages and that was it, then I really wouldn't need all these combinations. I would only need oh, just a few of them really. And in this case, it's very, very, very short. But the uh, late in a real web page situation, I would want to try to average something like three to five, three to five on average, such that you know it, it kind of looks like this generally going across you can have one two three you can have 10 12 20 you can even have geo targeting for every city state combination in the US or somewhere else whatever it is you want to do and that could go down 32,000 and we do do that we actually do produce pages for even 30,000 or 32,000 different city state combinations as one of the variables that matter we might say the quick brown fox jumped over lazy dog in and then it could be something like Chicago Illinois and the next one could say Sam you know San Diego comma CA for California then the next one says Atlanta comma GA for Georgia we could do that and if we want we could have it say IL or Illinois whoops you can do that too. Whoops, there it is. <laughs> or we could just simply have it without a comma or with a comma. This is why we use pipes though, in case we want to use commas in our data. Okay? And so all of that works now. If you need to see that, just hover over it until you see this double arrow, double click. If you want to see everything evenly, highlight the whole thing, hover over any one of them, and then double click, and it'll spread it out just right so you can see everything properly. Okay, so that's the concept. What we're doing with our web pages is quite the same thing. What we obviously don't need to change are coding elements that will not change. And we would not change the name of our, our product. Okay, TFAN Online Marketing Solutions is for a product called TFAN. Well, everywhere it says TFAN, I don't want it to say anything else. I want it to say TFAN. If I want it to be TFAN system, then I don't want system to have any variations. I don't want it to be TFAN scheme, TFAN organization, um, unless I'm fine with that. And maybe I don't want it here, but further down the page, it would be okay. And so I can do that separately. I can have it say TFAN system and just stick with that. But then later down the page, have it say system and do this that's perfectly okay and that's great so you can change wording combinations exactly where you want on a web page okay you don't have they don't always change automatically because you don't want them to always change automatically if it said the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog and the author was dr fox brown well then the author needs to remain dr fox brown i don't want it to change to something else like dr fox light brown <laughs> I want it to stay the right way and that's why these are individually controlled going from one end of the web page all the way to the other end of the web page where it ends okay so that's the concept here and this explains importing a web page universal fixes putting stuff in a code to var so we can start to create variations on wording okay because I can do that all right and I can do that and I can start to do this now however I want to do it okay and I can mix and match and we can even use the same ver verbiage to show up on our page more than one time so we don't even have to use this twice and that's kind of advanced I'll break it down later one thing at a time but right now all you need to know is that you can do whatever you want and so you know if I do this and hit the source it's gonna be the same result you can see it's the same result and it continues and so you'll see what's going on as we go but nonetheless that's the idea now the coolest thing that we ever did was incorporate standard spinner syntax for those of you that like to use article spinners that you trust and we have a very good one and we built this and this to handle one spinner that we like a lot because every time we test it the output it creates for us 
is very 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 nice it's really readable it's intelligent it makes sense and that particular spinner learns in real time from all the users using it that submit any feedback so it actually learns grows and gets better in real time as it goes and so for those of you that want to get into that when we get to that point we explain and show you how it works you're really going to appreciate it. That has a lot to do with you not having to think about this stuff very much. Okay, all you have to do is kind of review what it outputs, but it's generally going to be great. Okay, so that's where we are right now. So I'm going to save the page where we are right now and break off. All right, now in the next lesson, we're going to throw this whole project out because it was really easy to get this far but we're going to go through some examples really fast we're going to do a bunch of different web pages really quick with what we know already and when you see how fast it moves without all the description then you'll realize this is just you could hold your breath and do this part already because it didn't take any time to get this much done all right that'll be our next step is going through a few examples with a few different web pages making some simple coding fixes or adjustments or tweaks and you'll see what's going on okay